It's not a secret that Beyonce and Jay-Z have one of the most questionable union in the show business. And if you've been following the life of this power couple for a while, you may already get the feeling that something shady is going on behind the scenes. And not only fans are worried about Beyonce's current state, but other celebrities begin to suspect that the singer's marriage to Jay is more like a prison to her, and she can't even break free because her mind is being controlled 24-7. Well, no one knows more about the industry's dirty linen that Wendy Williams, and apparently the famous TV diva has her thoughts on this situation. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. So it seems like behind the facade of a famous singer, a loving wife, and an inspirational figure for many women, Beyonce remains simply a puppet in her husband's crafty hands. It's been long speculated why the Grammy-winning singer remains faithful and loyal to Jay-Z for so many years, despite the fact that he was even cheating on her multiple times. Well, it seems like Wendy Williams knows the answer. The former TV host has been in the industry for too many years to know everything that's going on behind the scenes, and according to her, Beyonce shows all signs of being placed under mind control. Despite dealing with some messy stuff on her own life, Wendy Williams still remains the queen of talk, and who serves us the best tea than her? Well, as Wendy has been always stating, there was something fishy in the family dynamics of the Carter's family, and apparently Jay-Z heavily medicates his wife to keep her compliant and under control all the time. Wendy felt very concerned about Beyonce's mental state, and she even said that she couldn't even decipher her speech. I'm watching, because fortunately, uh, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. This happened in 2012, when Wendy was talking about Beyonce's upcoming HBO documentary called Life is But a Dream. Well, this is the first time Wendy ever got suspicious about Jay-Z doing something to his wife, and she went on to discuss Beyonce's inability to talk correctly. And as Wendy mentioned, it was quite unusual for a grown-up woman to talk like she has very little education. She says she, 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 you know, Beyonce can't talk. You all, Beyonce sounds like she's got a fifth grade education. She can't talk. Apparently, Williams didn't want to so sound rude or offend the singer. In fact, she was implying that there's something strange about Beyonce's inability to speak properly. And although Wendy was heavily roasted for this comment, well, you cannot deny the fact that the TV diva has never been able to stay silent about the hottest topics in the industry, and she never meant to be disrespectful. It's quite the opposite. Right before saying that Beyonce often sounded like an unintelligent person, Wendy admired her talent and even confessed that she has always been her fan. No, I'm not one of those people. I am a Beyonce fan. And so, in fact, it seems like Wendy was trying to send us all a message and hint that Beyonce needed our help because there was something off about her public speeches and the way she behaves. As Wendy suggested, Jay-Z is responsible for his wife's state and his intention is to keep her heavily drugged so she would be easier to control. While Wendy has only one chance to interview the pop diva in person during her radio days, she has been frequently discussing Bay's marriage to Jay-Z on her popular daytime show, The Wendy Williams Show. Williams used her show to talk about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship. During a 2014 episode of her show, Wendy told her audience that Beyonce and Jay-Z were reportedly having marital problems and it seemed to her that Bay was finally getting a grip on reality. However, after sharing the story, Williams said she didn't think the pair would get a divorce. It seemed to her that Jay would always find a way to control his wife, and since she is heavily hooked on the drugs he offered her, Bay has mainly stayed in a sedated state. As Wendy said, they're reportedly trying to figure out a way to split without divorcing. In other words, a hood divorce. I do think, though, that they are vain enough that when the love is over, that they will not divorce because they're scared of what we're going to say. In 2016, Beyonce released her sixth studio album called Lemonade, and some of the songs were about the singer's rocky relationship with Jay-Z, and mainly about his infidelity. Some fans were trying to figure out if Beyonce was exposed Jay's affair with his alleged mistress, Rachel Roy. Williams couldn't stand aside this story and talked about the release during her Hot Topic segment. This time, the host criticized Beyonce for releasing the album two days after Prince died. In her opinion, Jay-Z forced the Queen Bee not to delay the release because he wanted to switch people's attention from mourning Prince's death back to his family again. So let's talk about Beyonce and Lemonade. As Wendy was talking about the album and the potentially powerful message it conveys, she expressed her doubts that the problem between Jay and the Queen Bee was that huge as they were trying to portray in the album. Apparently, Wendy was suggesting that the whole thing with infidelity breaking up and then Jay-Z begging his wife not to leave him was nothing else than a PR stunt, and they even paid Rachel Roy to play her role in this mess. So there was one song in particular that really had everyone talking. The lyrics of Beyonce's Sorry mentioned a woman named Becky at the very end. He only want me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. So fans were trying to figure out who was that Becky. And this is where Rachel came to the spotlight, dropping a post on her Instagram at the same time, reading good hair, 
don't care and ending her caption with a cryptic message saying live in the light. Well, Wendy didn't believe this peer stunt a single second. And she accused Rachel Roy of getting a huge chunk of money for participating in this alleged family drama. As Wendy stated, the whole thing was initially orchestrated by Jay-Z because he wanted to sell more albums. And that's why he was using his wife as a convenient tool for publicity and making money. Apparently, most of the time of their marriage, Beyonce is totally spaced out. That's why Wendy was confident that the entire infidelity drama was a well-designed scheme and Rachel received her share for playing her role well. First of all, you're not this fighting girl unless you're on Beyonce and Jay-Z's payroll and they paid you to mix it up. But not only Wendy tries to expose Jay-Z's manipulations, and there are people who worked for the music's power couple who are eager to spill more beans on what was going on behind the scene of this union. Beyonce's bodyguard, named Uncle Ron, posted a video on TikTok in an attempt to expose her and her husband for their behavior. On his viral video, the bodyguard went into details of the horrible activities of his former boss, saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce won't stop until they destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Throughout the video, Uncle Ron makes it clear that he will not be bribed to shut down or keep quiet and he will do anything he can to share the truth with as many people as possible. At some point, he directly addressed Jay and the Queen Bee, knowing that they would be watching this video and said, I know your deep secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much about how you get where you are, how you stepped on them, many people. No one from Beyonce or Jay's team has addressed these accusations, but in a shocking turn of events, all the videos were deleted from the official TikTok account of Uncle Ron. However, as we know, once it's on the internet, it never goes away and people were able to record Ron's words. And in his turn, he joined Wendy Williams' allegations and made a serious accusation that Beyonce is on drugs, and that's how she is being compliant with everything Jay-Z does. Many people are confident that Jay has crushed his wife's will and freedom of thinking, and that's why she behaves like a puppet in his play. As one user commented, does anyone remember when Beyonce released her single ring, The Alarm and Jay? Z was at that time bragging on some radio interview, laughing that Beyonce would never leave him. The way he laughed and said it was quite sinister, like she had no say after all. And another user wrote, if Beyonce ever leaves Jay-Z and comes out about her use with drugs, she'll win the hearts of her fans as they support her through her recovery. Perhaps Beyonce doesn't even understand what's going on during the largest part of her days, and it's obvious that she may be hooked on some substances that Jay is feeding her with. As Uncle Ron stated in his video, addressing his former boss, Jay-Z, yeah, Beyonce is on drugs. She's been on them for a long time. And you keep her that way. Perhaps this is was the only time when someone who knows what's really happening in this family was speaking up. And I doubt that the videos where Uncle Ron discussed Jay-Z's atrocities and the way he's been dragging his wife disappeared on their own. Jay has a lot of influence. And if he wants some material to disappear from all social media platforms, I guess he can easily make that happen. While Wendy Williams has been vocal about Beyonce's strange behavior for years, many other celebrities were keeping silence, probably being afraid of the repercussions coming from Jay DC for exposing these ugly details. But as we know, nothing stays hidden for too long and later other high profile people backed Wendy's suspicions and shared their vision on Beyonce's quite irrational behavior. Like 50 Cent, who once stated during his appearance at the Breakfast Club that Jay-Z has a lot of people on his leash and this list includes some famous names, including his wife Beyonce. As 50 Cent explained, Jay-Z is focused on using other people and get profit while they are doing the hard work. That's in 2003, the music mogul announced his retirement saying that he was tired and burned out. Apparently, it's easier for Jay-Z to pull the strings from behind the scene and he uses Beyonce's talent for making money. And that's why she's going on tour with the ticket prices being so insane that an ordinary person cannot even afford them. But it seems like the Queen Bee doesn't even know about these details. And as 50 Cent mentioned during his talk with The Breakfast Club, she seems to be frequently spaced out and hardly understand what she is doing. 50 recalled an episode when Beyonce was going to punch him in the face when he got into an argument with her husband. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, I come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out, she was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what is There's no possible explanation why Beyonce all of a sudden could have joined the fight between her husband and another rapper. I mean, that's the beef between them. But apparently, she was not even evaluating that situation properly. And as 50 Cent mentioned, he didn't want to get into a fight with a woman. Well, some people believe that the Queen Bee was simply instructed by Jay-Z to behave in a certain way, and others suspected that she was losing her grip on reality because of all the medications she has been on. Now, with all these allegations coming from 50 Cent, Uncle Ron, and Wendy Williams, that story when Beyonce's sister Solange attacked Jay-Z in the elevator makes total sense. So 
Solange was fed up with her brother-in-law controlling poor Bay, and she saw what a horrible state her sister was. So while she thought that no one was looking, she got in an argument with Jay that quickly escalated and turned physical. It all went down at a Met Gala after party and unfortunately for Jay-Z, the whole incident was caught on camera. In the video, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Solange step into the elevator and then Solange goes crazy, screaming at Jay before unleashing a violent attack. Wendy Williams didn't miss a chance to discuss that infamous fight on her TV show and she was talking about the passivity of Beyonce while Solange was literally kicking the music mogul. A large man who appears to be a bodyguard attempted to hold Solange back, but she managed to hit her brother-in-law at least three times. At one point, Solange threw a kick and Jay grabbed her foot, but here's where he was truly wise. Probably knowing that the elevator had a security camera, Jay never attempted to strike her in return. Beyonce stood by without getting physically involved like she was not present. She is kicking his behind. And the security guard's trying to hold her back. Beyonce's next to Jay-Z. According to Wendy, Solange had found out rather troubling details about Jay and Bay's true relationship. And as you can tell, she didn't like what she learned about her sister being medicated all the time. And as Wendy said when giving her opinion about the nature of this fight, she stated that Bay stayed away from this fight because somewhere deep in her mind, she wanted him to get hurt. Oh. In my mind, Beyonce didn't get in the middle because Solange was probably attacking him over something that he knows he was dead wrong about. Well, it seems like after the incident, Jay-Z increased the dosage of meds she's giving to his wife. And we know that this man has his means of influencing people, but apparently, to keep his wife next to him, he uses some substances that alter her mind and make her forget what's going on in reality. And many fans find Wendy's allegations quite credible because it certainly looks like Beyonce and Jay-Z are not fit for each other, and this whole union is kind of forced. Now, thanks to Wendy's exposure, we know that Jay prefers to keep Beyonce by his side as a cover, and there has been too many red flags hinting about the way he control her. As one person commented, that's an arranged marriage. He's not with her, he's her handler. Wendy ain't lying. And another user added, Jay-Z is not attractive. I don't know why she's with him. He's definitely controlling her. Well, Wendy has absolutely no reason to lie. And thanks to her, the public learn more and more shocking details of the industry's ugly secrets. It seems like Jay-Z might actually use his power and influence to get rid of all the evidence of his controlling actions. And no matter how hard he hides the truth, it will eventually surface. And what do you reckon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about the show business and its secrets. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I promise to be back very soon with a new portion of gossip about your favorite celebrities.